There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. In the building, be yeah, human. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Gentlemen, I very much appreciate you being here, joining me today. Before we get started, if you kindly could introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. All right, you want me to go first? I'll go first. Uh, I'm Anthony. Okay. I'm a bassist, and I help out a lot on the guitar. And uh, we have Jordan over here, who is our screamer, aka. We're losing, Anthony. We're losing you to our music a lot. on all platforms, and even YouTube. We're losing you in and Yikes. out on on Wi-Fi. Just for heads up, I'm gonna move Jordan to to the spotlight real quick. Jordan, you want to take over and 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 do uh, plug all all your guys' social media links for me one time. Yes, yes, okay. On Instagram, we are at, at Being Human New York, Band New York. Um, we also have a Twitter, which is, um, I think it's Being Human, because there's Being Human New York, and there's Being Human Band New York, so just type in either one, you'll find it. How long? So we're on how, Facebook, how, Instagram, all that. Excellent. Uh, and we're, we've been a big fan since we heard Somnolence. It's fantastic, and I do want to talk about that in a minute, but how long have you guys you. been together for? Oh, Ugh. I mean, me and Tanner started way, way back. It was way oh, back. Man. <laughs> it was like 20. Oh, man. I want to say 2017. I think it's 2017, 2018. And it was and being it was human, just... or that was a different project? See, it, it was at that point, it was, it was anything. And it was just me and him at my, my little shack of a house. And we were just playing stuff, you know, left and right. We were just, let's let's do this, let's do that. And then we would totally fall apart. And we actually had a song that we, we did recently with a pawn, uh, Properties of Nature, a uh, band that we most certainly love. And they did like a little podcast where we put together an old song that we did because it was about like pirates. And we decided to remake that song. It was a really fun experience, but we started way back in 26 or 2017, 2018, and then really came together around 2020, 2021, and we started picking up people, started going left and right. I mean, it was it was when COVID hit, it was right it spiked everything around. So, but we had Anthony around then, and we picked up a few other people. You know, some things fell apart. We lost a drummer. Um, recently, lost a guitarist, but we got a um, obviously we got Anthony now. Anthony's awesome. We love him to death. He's beautiful. Uh, we got he is a Brent. handsome fella. Brent is our drummer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Brent Cross too. He's our favorite. We love him. He's an amazing drummer and a good friend. And we obviously have the singer Tanner. He is he is our uh, bread and butter of the band. He is a magnificent human being who uh, he, he is has a, a very brilliant mind. He is a great singer. I got the opportunity to jam. The, all the songs today that you guys have on Spotify. And I do want to ask yep. about After Everything Else Burns because it is a completely different feel than all the other songs. Is that song hold a special place to Tanner? I know he's in chat, but would you say that song in particular holds a special place because it's obviously a very more toned down song than than all the other songs? Oh, oh yeah. Most is, definitely. That song is... I think the whole EP itself is very emotional for him because it's... It sparks a. It, most of it's written all about his past issues and stuff, and he. I think that EP really strikes him as you know, something very open wound, you know, and I yeah. I think after everything else, Burns was very sensitive for him to make. I love it. It's probably my favorite song in the album. Oh yeah, I threw most hard on it. Agree, yeah, I, I, think, I thought it was fantastic. I, I love it. Yes, it's amazing. Who and who who did I the production for for? He is a great singer. Who did the production yeah. for that EP, and was it the same producer that did Somnolence, Somnolence the single? Because it seems like a production difference, like you went to somebody different. Oh, yeah, we just upgraded. Who who did uh, the EP versus the single? Oh, it was Tanner. Tanner did it all. So it was Tanner mixing. He was mixing and everything. He did all, all of it from scratch. Well, obviously, we had his father, who has his little studio as well, 
Adirondack Studios, who records as well. But he was helping us in the process, you know, little things here and there. But he wanted us to do it on our own because he wanted us to be self-made, you know, do our own thing, you know, make it the way we want it. And obviously his father mastered the thing, mastered the whole EP and the single. But it was all done from Tanner's little studio room. That is singer, so. that is awesome. Hell yeah. It's it's crazy yeah. how, how much more common DIY recordings have become when 20 years ago, mm -hmm. like there was just no, you couldn't even compete if you had a DIY recording. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it, well, it's, I mean, it, it's fun too. We love it. It's, oh my God, it's a blast. I can't imagine. I don't know. It just, it, it's fun to do what you want in a studio, you know, to just be comfortable because I don't know how it is, you know, doing with other people, obviously, because we've only done it our way. But I feel so comfortable in the studio and we just spit ball and that's how we make our songs, man. We take a song and we all just collaborate. Let's, make, let's talk about you know? that. Tell, take me through, it's practice day and it's time to write a new song. How does that start? Does it start with the okay. riff? Does it start with the melody that Tanner's come up with? Is there somebody that does like a, just a quick little demo and we build off that? How does a Being Human so, song start? So, I mean, the premise of how the songs start, I mean, it's it's straightly from Tanner's, you know, dome of his. But we, we go, we, I think it basically, you know, it starts with drums, always. Written in, you know, how ba the bass line is. And we, we, he usually, Tanner has been, for our most songs, he has taken it and made something and said, all right, what do you guys think? And then we, as a group, we collaborate and pick up art and put what we want in there and but for now is how convenient it is for Tanner to have a studio and how you know lackluster of we are with our our busy lives Tanner is mostly putting together uh, just about everything at this point and then we come in and help out fix things up because it's it's just so convenient for him with his setup to just start everything and he's a blessing that beautiful man takes a lot of time out of his day to make our music I love that hell yeah do you have any? Yeah. I know Anthony's kind of just working some. through I'll the kinks. Back. Okay, yeah, he's working. He's working on the kinks to to rejoin yep. us. But uh, in the meantime, do you have any interesting or odd hobbies? Me? Or just the band? Oh, like maybe yeah. on off days, you guys love okay. uh, go to the movies. You go, you love collecting horror autographs or Funkos. Like, do you have any just fun odd side stuff? <sighs> me, me personally, I have fanny pack collections. I love fanny packs. I don't know what it is about fanny packs, but as soon as I put one on and realize how much storage I have, <laughs> yeah, I want yeah. more. So you want, yeah. Well, how packs. many fanny packs yeah. do you own? Uh, I think I have twelve right now. What? That's Hell yeah! Spitballing it. Is yeah, the... but I have been collecting more and more as I can, and I want to. I just want to build a big, like shelving where I can just put all my fanny packs on and just play them for the world to see. I love. I don't it. know. I love them. Fanny packs yeah, are like back in style, right. dude. They they were kind of like oh, not are. cool for a while, but now they're like totally back. Yeah, and we, I the guys for Christmas got me a Being Human one that is I love it, but it, it's not merch yet. But hopefully, hopefully, that is cool. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Were you Jordan able to bring any hot sauce? Yes, yes. I think Amy and Anthony have the same Excellent. one. Excellent. I think it's it's Tabasco. That'll work. That, that is that is hot sauce. Okay. That'll totally work. Hell yeah. Um, well, I don't want to do yeah. the trivia yet because I want to give Anthony a chance to jump back in here. So um, why don't we do this? Uh, do fine. you is there has there ever been talks of of maybe uh, funding together uh, the ability to have like a big feature on a song for you guys? <sighs> I mean, we haven't really talked about that because I mean we speculate. You know, you you throw out in here. Oh, I'd love to hear that. You know, hear that. Or hear them, you know, on there. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess a couple of the bands that we're close to, maybe. Yeah, be cool. Well, like the band you uh, mentioned earlier, the the acronym. Start with the P. Yeah, uh, properties of nature. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I know Tanner's doing a song with with their singer slash screamer Josh. They're gonna do like a cover of a song. They were talking about that. Um, but yeah, we we really like those guys. Yeah, we would love to have them on. I mean, well, I don't know if we're gonna be trying to do more features for people on our stuff. I mean, we'd love for anybody, honestly. But um, yeah, right now we're just trying to get some stuff written for our our stuff. You know, 
what what yeah. what do you mean something's it's coming. something's coming so what what are we yeah. what are you allowed to tell me that's coming so i i have been confirmed when tanner pulled in my driveway earlier probably two hours ago to show me some stuff and then tell me that i can confirm there is an album the release date is unknown but there are there are going to be songs on that album maybe there might <laughs> just be some music on it excellent yes. excellent so, <laughs> It's not just an intermission album. Hard. There might be a song or two, yes. a diddly. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So can we so, so we can expect really hard, so. another single or two before the year's over. Let's say it like that. So that's that's a good question. I I'm pretty sure we'll drop another one, but as of what I've heard, there might be an album at some point. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It won't. I don't know if it'll be. It could be in December. Could be in October. Could be, you know, November. Could be all those. You just gotta. So you gotta. You gotta know. follow them, and you gotta follow them, man, and stay up on the socials too to keep updated. It depends. And we don't like to drop anything clear yet until we've got most stuff, you know, ready to go. But you know, we're, we're doing smart. our own. It's you know, we're trying to go at our pace. We want to be able to put out music that we feel comfortable, that it we think it's good to our own. You know, for sure. We don't. You know, we, when you put out music, you hope people love it. But at the same time, you're doing this for yourself. You know, you love it. You want to put out something that you love, which is where we're going at. So, I can appreciate that for sure. Who can argue that? You got to love it, the material yeah. you're putting out. Anthony, you're looking even mm -hmm. more handsome. What did you do? <laughs> uh, I just switched to my iPhone because, you know, apparently that's better than a laptop. <laughs> I don't know if technology it works sometimes, but it's it's we're, we're golden now. We're golden. Uh, he mentioned yeah, earlier absolutely. that he found you guys around the COVID era. Reading you, Anthony. How what? How did you meet Jordan? And uh, were you were you in previous bands? And he saw you guys live, or how did how did you meet Jordan officially? Uh, so actually, um, his younger brother Hunter was in my grade, and I was always good friends with Hunter. So I think the first time I actually technically met him was when I was hanging out at uh, their house and I stayed up a little late and Jordan was playing Fable, I think, and I was watching him play that. I just beat Fable 3 like two yeah. weeks ago, again. Hey, hell yeah, that's my favorite <laughs> one. So, yeah, and then eventually, like a few years later, I had art class with Tanner, so we always kind of knew each other. Um, we were friendly, but I don't think any of us ever envisioned being in a band together. I think yeah. Tanner reached out to me because I had posted a video of me playing my bass somewhere. And I went over, we jammed, and I've been with him for almost three years, I think, coming up on three years. Hell yeah, so Art... Oh, that's right. You came over to the garage where we were playing, right? That was the first yeah, time the I... Yeah, back when I, like, we had uh, Brandon Howard. Acknowledged... When we were still like yeah, kind of doing a cover band. band. Yeah. Right, and yep. like when I joined is when we... Like, they kind of turned from a cover band to writing original music. Yeah. Yep. So, a love for art, video games, and music all synced right away. Oh, yeah. Yes. Big time. Absolutely. If, if you guys could only pick one video game to play the rest of your life, what would it be? Skyrim. Yes! I would agree with that! What would you say, Jordan? Bro, and like... <laughs> Oh, I've played. I've, I've put more TV hours right in Skyrim than any other video game ever. I'm actually playing. I'm like oh it's on God. my TV right now. It's my Xbox is on. I was. I paused Skyrim. <laughs> it's, I was doing the Cure for Madness. It's like one of those games Fun where out. you get like a PS5, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, we got Skyrim now available for PS5." You're like, "Oh, I've already beaten it ten times, but let me just go ahead and yeah. also get it for the PS5." Just well, why not? I started up the this Cure. It's like Madness again, where like. I, last week I was like, oh, I wonder if they got new mods on it. And then I got on and I go, oh, there's a couple cool mods. And then I'm like, well, I got to start a new game to try really? the mods out. And now five days later where I'm at now, I haven't stopped playing it. And now it's so good. Uh, I can't stop until I beat it. Before we before we play some of your guys' music for people that be watching that don't know who you guys are, uh, I do want to do the mm -hmm. trivia. I saw his hit sauce, sauce, Jordan. Anthony, do you have your hot sauce? Excellent. Excellent. We have the same Excellent. kind. The exact same one, the Sriracha Tabasco. <laughs> to do the trivia. It was a complete coincidence. 
Really? Okay. <laughs> it is. Great yeah. minds think alike. To do <laughs> to do the trivia, I need to know what movie or TV show you guys have seen the most. Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, Star you will Wars. not get stumped. Can you agree on either a movie or a show that there's no way I could stump you? Probably Star Wars, right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I I, it's my life. Is there a particular Star Wars film? Anything but the sequels. <laughs> so, so like not seven, eight, nine, any one through six. Yeah, one through six. Yeah, okay, that's I'll, pretty. Give me a minute to look up some trivia. We're hanging out with Being Human. Oh, yeah. If you guys could go on Spotify, show them some love, hit the follow button, that'd be awesome. Plus, it'd just be a hell of a lot cooler if you it'd be did. A lot cooler if you did. This is their song Somnolence, <laughs> and they are in the tournament this Thursday. And you guys have an absolute giant to take down in baby metal, but I believe in you. You can pull it off. You can do it. You ready to do this? You picked it. All right. Yes. You, you picked the trivia. So we're going with Star Wars Return of the Jedi trivia right now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this up. Hold on. What you got? I'm too cocky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to get you, but I'm going to try. Here we go. In Star Wars, whether you get it right or wrong, I'm going to do the hot sauce regardless. Uh, what is the name of Jabba the Hutt's sidekick in Return of the Jedi? I know what he looks like. I just don't know his name. <laughs> it's two words. That's the only hint I can give you. I think he only says it like once, maybe twice the whole movie. Oh, shit. It's probably the same guy from the Boba uh, TV show. Like the first episode or whatever. I don't know. I'm stumped. I do. I know. I uh, know it is. Oh, no, I don't. I don't know it. That is a stump. Mm. Yeah. Gentlemen, enjoy the hot sauce. And uh, the answer is Silicious Crumb. Silicious crumb. I never would have guessed that. Nah, nah, I don't know that shit. I'm going to do uh, this ghost pepper wing sauce right here, and uh, we'll continue the interview now. Ooh. If, if all of a sudden a whole bunch of money fell on your guy's lap, let's say a label comes along and, and gives you each, I don't know, four or five million dollar signing bonus per band member. Jeez. Right? Now, you cannot spend it on gear. You cannot buy a house. And you cannot spend it on your family. This is something I want you to be stingy. What is something that you've always wanted, but now you have so much money you could just afford 10 of them if you wanted? Just a cool, fun mm. toy. But it can't be any of those first three things. Mm. So for me, I know I want a 67 Chevrolet Impala. Mint condition, prefer preferably. This is a good one. An old Impala, hell yeah! You got you got four point nine something 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 million left. By the way, if there's, if there's anything else, can I buy a room, like a like a shed or something, and just fill it? You buy a shed? Yeah, I want to buy a shed and just fill it full of Chick Fil A sauce. Oh yeah, Ch <laughs> Chick Fil A sauce is bomb. Oh, just go in there and just bathe in it. Does Chick Fil A have Thanks. the best chicken sandwich? Because I think Popeyes might be able to take the crown. On I don't that think one. their I don't think their chicken sandwich is the best. I think their chicken quality is really good. It's a peanut I oil. I do agree that Popeyes is better. I like Popeyes chicken a lot, but their sauce is the best. I can't help it. They got these new sauces now. They're coming out with. I know you could buy the actual Chick Fil A sauce in store too. I know they came out with them in the stores, and because I used to tell that that lady or anybody up front and I'd say, just get a bag and just fill it full of Chick-fil-A sauce, give me, please. Give me, give me, give me, give me. And they would not they would not hesitate. They they'd gotten that answer before. So I was just like, I love Chick-fil-A sauce so much. I got like three tubes of it in my freaking fridge all let's, the time. Let's stay on the munchie topic and then I'll I'll okay. directly ask Anthony this one first, but then Jordan you answer afterwards. Yep. Let's say all of a sudden you guys just walked off stage 
and you just did uh, the Rockville. Welcome to Rockville or something like that. We're talking like 10, 15,000 deep. Best show of your guys' lives. You're walking off the stage. There's a chef. There's a caterer. They can make anything you want. What is the celebration munchy meal? Oh, man. Probably either got to be some sort of burrito or a Reuben sandwich. And probably like a pint of uh, not quite like a malt beer, but something a little darker. The, the, uh, very particular answer, and I like that. Getting, straight, <laughs> getting to the point. Uh-huh. I need exactly this. What would you say, Jordan? What what is what is your go to munchy meal when it's a celebration Pasta. night? Every noodle you can think of, just every noodle mm. with sauce, butter. I don't care. Noodles, 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 and I'll just dive on it. Dang, you might be on to something. I don't think I've ever eaten pasta People. where it was like more than one or two kinds of noodles in oh, the thing. Yeah. Oh, just get a bowl of noodles and just put put butter in there <laughs> and a little bit of salt. I'll eat it. Oh, of the uh, of the <laughs> of noodles of the songs in your guys's catalog. Which one is the hardest to play live and why? Mm. Hmm. I would think for Probably. me personally, we borrowed light because let's be honest, I'm on a thicker side and my lungs are not the best. And I would definitely be fighting probably 30 seconds into that song because there's a lot of screaming. So I'd be going, <laughs> you know, halfway through. <laughs> so that's my, that's me, that's me. Tanner does a lot of stuff where I, I scream a lot and I tell him, I go, I don't have the body shape for this. We got to tone it <laughs> down a little bit, that. Tanner. Come on, we got to tone <laughs> <No>. it back. <laughs> I'm like, jeez. Oh. Anthony, what would you say from a bass perspective? Uh, honestly, like if we're talking about playing live, I'd say Another Life would probably be a little hard for the whole band to stay on time. But um, for me... I did like over 380 takes on After Everything Else Burns, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but the final one was the one, or we had to we had to chop and splice. Oh, like I, I would always do section by section. So like, um, I, it's obviously would be quite difficult to play from start to finish because you know one mistake scrapped the whole thing. So I just do like I'll do a verse get it right and down and tight and then i'll do the chorus and get it down and tight but we counted like the amount of tracks that we deleted and replaced and it was something over 300 (laughs) that is a lot that is a lot but it it was worth it in the end we got it right in the end absolutely absolutely this could be the most important question i ask you this whole interview and it goes like this in star wars return of the jedi where does Sarlacc live? Tatooine. That is not correct. <laughs> what is the second guess, Jordan? Is it Sarlacc? The Sarlacc pit? <laughs> Where does Sarlacc live? He might live on Tatooine, but I need a more specific answer, so I'll let you answer again, Anthony. Hmm. I don't even know the specific oh, area oh. on Tatooine. I, is No, is it? Is it what? Oh man. No, it's not it's not Jabba's palace, is it? No. No. It has to do with Jabba, but that's, that's not where he finds him. Second stump. <clears throat> Sarlacc is a large creature who lives in a burrow in the Dune Sea. The, yes, the Dune Sea. The Dune Damn. Sea is the answer. Enjoy the hot sauce one more time. I still would have guessed Starlight Pit. Had you guys gotten either one of those trivia correct, we would have spun this wheel right here, and I'm going to spin it for you right now because you're good sports. If you have a frosty beverage, cheers for hanging and, and being good sports. It just says chug, whether it's soda, water, don't matter. We're hanging, we're having a good time. Where where do you guys envision the band being in a year and a half from now? Would you like to be on the road? Would you like to have uh, the album that may or may not be coming out? 
uh, and then doing this afterwards, what would you like to be doing if we hypothetically did a follow up, let's say seven months from now? So given seven months, um, I'd say we'd probably it'd be about prime time maybe for the album being released within that window, give or take a couple months. Um, we're hoping by the time that the album is finished that we have the gear we need to at least start practicing and then give like the year and a half window that you mentioned earlier i think we could be playing some shows with uh some other names that you might even recognize so you guys don't play right now live wise no is there is there we have practiced twice as a band Mm mm-hmm so it started Since as an idea together. we did all the singles we did the ep we did the new single and now that you're almost got enough or have enough to play a set it's about that time is there yes is exactly. there any do, are, do you envision using a, a like a backing track for the for the set or or, or not going that route Yes, so we're probably going to use backing tracks. Uh, it's essential in our type of music because we're very synth forward and there is a lot of micro pauses, stops, changes, stuff like that. So we're probably going to need to use in ear monitors with a backing track and some sort of count in, count out metronome system. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, I think our biggest part is in ear monitors right now. Mm-hmm. Those can add up too. We, we kind of price things yeah. out. And it was around eight to ten grand total, but we were probably gonna go the route of financing. Yeah, it just seems like the better option at this point. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I totally get it. This was, this would have been like fifteen or sixteen years ago for me personally. But I walked into Guitar Center with like the best credit score ever, and I was like, "What? What? How much can you guys loan me?" And they were like fifteen grand, and I went, "What the fuck?" I'm spending it all right now. <laughs> I spent I spent fifteen thousand dollars that day in Guitar yeah. Center. So financing is totally the route. And then you just you know pay a hundred, pay two hundred, whatever. But then you're ready yeah. to rock like instantly. See, I, th- yeah. I think that would be a cool idea. Hell yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. Start around. Do you guys have any phobias like stuff that freaks you out or scares you personally? Spiders, snakes, heights, anything like that? Hmm. Heights a little bit. But I also like find myself up on high places quite often. Okay. Water. Like like deep sea. I want a boat in the middle of the Any ocean. Type of water. No no pools. Nothing. Yeah, I got. I done pools. I know I can touch the bottom. I'm good. If I can't touch the bottom. I'm not. And I'm I'm engaged to a, a swim coach, so she'll save me. <laughs> 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 for sure just, <laughs> I got you Jordan <laughs> that, that's funny hell so, yeah. uh, real quick Tanner wanted me to mention real quick um, we actually don't have an official guitarist at the moment so that's kind of why we haven't really been practicing um, I'm actually thinking of possibly taking over guitar capabilities here soon but we're still kind of undecided on that I'm waiting on uh, a new neck so I can finish building my guitar then we'll go from there. What part of New York are you guys from? Because we know a lot of people in New York. Maybe we can help l- help locate a guitarist that could audition or something. We're upstate, so like right by Ver- like we're on the edge of Vermont. We actually have a- we live like right next to the bridge to Vermont. Okay, Lizzie, let's mm-hmm. jot let's jot this down. Let's jot this down and see if we know anybody. I know we know a lot of people in I don't know what part of New York, but Poughkeepsie, Binghamton. Um, yeah. Yep. I don't know how far that is from you guys, but Poughkeepsie's. About Pretty four or close. five hours. Yeah, it's not too far. Okay. That might be hard for lots of practices, but it's doable. Oh, um, I just thought of this, but we were actually thinking if I do end up taking over guitar capabilities, um, our friend uh, Reinhold from Perspectives, he would be totally willing to probably learn our set and just fill in on bass for us for a night or whatever. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. There you go. That's a start right there. I love it. Yeah. Gentlemen, oh, yeah. we got time for maybe one or two more questions. I want to start with this. Uh, if being that you make music, you go to shows. Do you do you ever see another local band making a mistake that you guys think to yourself, "We would not make that mistake"? In I, I'm not trying to call out another band or anything. Yeah, we're just looking for advice for people that may be watching that uh, you believe this should be the way to, to Star Wars. See what I did there. 
Um, <laughs> don't become a meme page. What do you mean? It's probably my only advice. Uh, a lot of like local bands on Facebook basically just turn into meme pages to the point where people are more interested in the musical memes rather than the actual music that they produce. Got you. And I see uh, quite a few people doing that with their band accounts. So um, I'd say don't make that mistake. Obviously, you can post memes here and there, but don't make it like your be famous big driving that. force. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'll be known for that. What you would know, you? I mean, sorry, Jordan. What would you? No, you're good. Me? I mean, my I, I have no against anybody. I don't really know, but I think my only thing is that I usually say all the time about being in a band is, you know, be yourself. That's all it is. It's art. You know, let let the music speak for itself through your emotions. You know, don't mm-hmm. don't ever sway from that. So. I love it. Couple of final questions. Uh, all of a sudden, you can go on a tour anywhere around the world. You can pick the tour dates, the locations, the countries, blah, blah, blah. You got a giant globe. We're spinning the globe, but there's one place you want to circle that you want to play more than anywhere else in the world. Where are we circling? Tokyo. Tokyo, good call. Uh, I don't know, anywhere in the UK. They just seem so awesome. You know, that's where fucking... All the really, really no, cool bands on. that I love have come from. Brazil. Brazil, Brazil. always wants bands yeah. to go there. Yeah. I've heard that. I've heard that like some smaller like hardcore and like Screamo S bands have gone to Brazil and, and played for like three or four thousand just because they love like American yeah. metal. They do, they love it down there. That is cool. Gentlemen, any final thoughts you want us to know about or retoss out your social media? The floor is yours. Or being human at Being Human <laughs> Band New York is all of our stuff. So we are on Instagram, uh, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, and you know all the all the good social medias that everybody uses every day. Uh, Jordan is a Twitch streamer. You can follow him at I'm a Groovy Guy. Oh yeah, playing and Skyrim. I run. I, run... Uh, I will not be playing Skyrim. I play Apex, but I never even think about streaming Skyrim because I just don't know if people will watch it. Do you do you play Call of Duty Mobile? I don't play Call of Duty Mobile now. Damn it, nobody does. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my it's the game I played more than anything for the last couple of years because they can it's mobile you can take it anywhere. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. and I'm I'm really good at it. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, gentlemen, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah. we, we look forward to the album. May or may not be coming. We may have some music. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, may have some sounds may have some singles, I'm pleased. Maybe, maybe I'm, <laughs> I'm very pleased that I was able to stump you not once but twice on the yeah. trivia that you selected, which was Star Wars. Yeah. Um, if we could do one final thing, can you guys, uh, if somehow in unison and harmony, which I know can be tricky, but we'll just wing it, just say, uh, I'm Jordan, I'm Anthony, something along the lines of this, we're being human, you're watching local band smoke out. Any way you want to do it, but essentially get okay. there. Get there. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to start it, and then Anthony, you say after it, and then we'll go, we're being human. This is local band smoke out. Can we do that together? Can we do this? We can try. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm Jordan. I'm Anthony. And we're being, we're being human. human. <laughs> this, and this is, is local, local band, band smoke out. out. Yeah, that is perfect. Yeah! That's perfect. I'm going to clip yeah. that, and I'll use it every now and then uh, on YouTube videos. This is a little quick intro perfect. before I get to it. Uh, yeah. Gentlemen, this Love is fun, it. man. Thank you, guys. Stay oh, safe. Yeah. We look forward to the yeah. rest of the music. Good luck on Thursday in the tournament. Usually, whoever brings the most people wins, so I, I suggest maybe just telling a couple of fen- friends and fans to come party, and they'll definitely discover another band or two they never heard of and hopefully hit the follow button, like button. But uh, if you guys are watching, please support them. Go on Spotify, hit the follow button like I have. Ladies and gentlemen, be yeah, it! Hell yeah!
Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.